gonna draw a cat in the hat. Yeah, we've drawn cat in the hat before, but this time we're gonna draw him a little different. We're gonna draw him in our own style, cartoon style. We're gonna keep the lesson nice and easy. It's still gonna be a lot of fun though. Mm -hmm. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah. Really? Let's first start by drawing the cat's eyes. We're gonna draw two circles. I'm gonna draw them this size, and I'm gonna leave some space. Draw the other eye, the same size, and try to draw them right in the middle of the paper. Then let's draw smaller circles in the top right of each eye for the highlight to make the eyes look shiny. Mm -hmm. Then let's color in the big circle and leave the little circle white. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time to finish that step. All right, now let's draw the nose. Let's draw a little oval in between the two eyes and then let's color that shape in too. Let's draw him happy. We're gonna draw a big U shape underneath his eyes. <laughs> and we can also draw little cheek lines on each side of the smile. He's so happy. He is so happy. <laughs> now let's draw the shape of his head. We're gonna start right here next to his cheek or his eye and we're gonna draw his cheek. We're gonna draw a little curve that comes down now let's draw another curve over here that matches for the other side. And then we're gonna give him little furry cheeks. So we're gonna draw a zigzag line that comes down. Because he's a cat. Yeah, he's a cat, a furry cat on each side. And, and then let's draw his chin. We're gonna connect those zigzags together. Good job. Now let's draw a little curve that comes up from his cheek past his eye, and we'll do the same thing over here on this side. And we want them to come up to the same height. Okay, now let's draw little eyebrows over each eye. Next, we're gonna connect these two lines together for the bottom of his hat. Oh, let's also draw his ears. I'm gonna draw an S curve that comes out and then curves back down to finish his ear. Then let's do the same thing over here. S curve and a big curve down. He has crazy ears. Crazy ears, yeah. <laughs> now let's draw his hat. We're gonna draw the bottom of his hat first. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out from his ear, across, and then connects back in on the other ear. Then let's draw the top of his hat, my favorite part. This is super tall I hat. I know, super tall hat. We're gonna draw a big curve. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> then over here, we're gonna draw another curve, but this one is going to be shorter. Yeah, and then right here, let's draw a curve going the other direction. And we're not gonna go as high as the left side. Now let's connect those two together. What's his hat missing? The stripes. The stripes, and he has three stripes, three red stripes and two white stripes. So let's draw a curve for the bottom red stripe. He looks like a candy cane. It does, <laughs> yeah, it does look like a candy cane. <laughs> then we're gonna draw another one at the top for the red stripe on the top. Now we're gonna draw two more lines in between for the center red stripe. So we're gonna draw more curves that come across. There we go, we have his stripes. We finished his head and his hat. Now let's draw his bow, his bow tie. We're gonna draw a little U underneath his chin. His cat bow. His, yeah, cat bow, <laughs> that's a good name. Cat bow. <laughs> then we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down and then connect it up to his chin. Then let's do the same thing on the right side. Diagonal line down and then connect up. He also has a little part of the bow that comes down, so we'll draw two diagonal lines coming down, and we can connect those also. Now let's draw his body. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down from the bow tie, and it's gonna curve out. Yeah. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Curve out and down. <laughs> Then right at the end, let's draw a little curve going out the other way. 
Next, let's draw in between his legs. We're gonna draw an upside down U shape. And look how they get close together on where his ankles would be. Yes, now let's draw his feet. We're gonna draw a U shape that starts on the outside and connects to the inside. And we'll do the same thing over here for his right foot. All right, now let's draw his belly. We're gonna start on his bow and we're gonna draw a little zigzag line that comes around, well, a curve, comes around and connects to the other side and it looks like an oval. What's he missing? His arms. Yeah, he's missing his arms. And hands. And hands. We're gonna draw a line that comes down and it bends up. This is his elbow. Then we're gonna draw his thumb. We'll draw an upside down small U. And then we can draw a big U pointing sideways. Looks like he has gloves on. He does have gloves. Yeah, we're gonna connect the bottom of the glove up to his thumb. Then let's draw the rest of his arm. We'll come down and then connect to his body. Now let's draw his other arm. This time I'm gonna draw it just coming down without bending. Yeah. Then I'm gonna draw another line for the other side of his arm, and towards the bottom, I'm gonna get further away. Yeah, and then we can connect for the bottom of his glove. Now let's draw his thumb. We'll draw a little U, and then we'll draw a big U for the rest of his glove. All right, Hadley, what should we draw next? His tail. His tail. I'm gonna start over here, and I'm gonna draw an S curve. Curve one way, and then the other way. Then let's draw another line that matches right next to it. And then at the end, connect with a U shape, the letter U. Or an upside down U, oh. or sideways U. I like how you have an extra curve in yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay that our two drawings look a little different, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is- To have fun. Have fun and to- Practice. Practice. We still have one more thing to do. do you whiskers. Know yeah, it's whiskers. 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 We're gonna draw two lines coming out of his left cheek and two lines coming out of his right cheek. And we did it. Except we still need to do one more thing. Color him. Yeah, we need to color him. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring Cat in the Hat. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. What do we use to color our drawings? Markers. Yeah, we use markers, red and black, but you could use whatever you have at home or in your classroom. We also use a pink colored pencil for the cheeks. What could our art friends add to their drawings? Add more characters. Yeah, more characters from Dr. Seuss. Mm -hmm. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Cat in the Hat. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.